What is SOP for SOP and why is not good for your YouTube channel? SOP for SOP is the practice of subscribing to somebody else's channel in exchange for them subscribing to yours. Whether SOP for SOP works is debatable, but it is fairly popular. YouTubers often send messages to other YouTubers asking if they would like to sub for sub and there are even off YouTube sites devoted to connecting YouTubers so they can subscribe to each other. A lot of vloggers do not believe in sub for sub though. This is because they doubt whether subscribers gained this way actually help them get more views on their videos. This video will explain the pros and cons of sub for sub. Hello and welcome to Zeno Network channel. Make sure to subscribe, like and comment. Does YouTube sub for sub work? When you have a higher number of subscribers, it is easier to get even more. That is why some users try to use methods like sub for sub to improve their numbers. The technical answer to the question is yes. You can get new subscribers quickly using sub for sub and it is in no way against YouTube's rules. On the other hand, subscribers gained through sub for sub and don't watch or share your videos. Users end up with more subscribers but their channel do not truly grow. A big part of doing well on YouTube is being engaged in your vlogging community. If a YouTuber with a similar topic to yours approaches you with a sub for sub request and you engage them in a conversation, it could be the beginning of a great friendship. Beyond subscribing to each other, you can share tips, comment on each other's videos and maybe even collaborate on a video someday. Cons of sub for sub The reality is that if people are prejudging your videos based on your stats, it is not subscribers they are looking at so much as views. Sub for Sub helps you get subscribers, but in most cases, those subscribers will never watch any of your videos. They will also never share them or tell their friends to watch them, the way subscribers gained organically will. So while your subscriber count goes up, your view cams stays low. YouTube wants to see people subscribing to channels which interest them. And also, YouTube does not want to see channels where two channel owners are subscribing to each other just to increase their subscriber numbers. Now, in 2021, this tactic is considered a spam and is not acceptable by YouTube and many other online spaces. So remember, with sub for sub, only the number of fake or inactive subscribers on your YouTube channel will increase. What is very important for the growth of the YouTube channel is the number of subscribers who watch like and comment on your videos so focus on the quality of the content and attracting active subscribers stay tuned with us don't forget to subscribe like and comment